many people like to try their hand in astrophotography. There are many expensive ways. There are some cheap ways. Uh, using a zoom lens, long telephoto lens or zoom lens, is one of those ways if you have a DSLR. And we have one here. Let me open it and see. Okay, now I'm going to open. Yep, this is the lens, hopefully. That's a tissue. Oh no, they're not lens. The eyepieces. Oh, interesting. What eyepiece is this? Oh, fossil 10 millimeter. That's a, a symmetrical ram stand. This one is a 10 millimeter celestron. This one is a oh camera holder or ring or, or eyepiece holder. Oh, lovely, Ostara, fat field, 65 degrees, all metal, is a small version of the, oh, look at the islands, 90 millimeter, that's the small version of what, uh, Alter Astro Premium, and I made a video already about that, so, another one, this is a red dot viewer, What we have here? Oh, a Barlow Lens Skywatcher, or kind of similar. Uh -huh. This is the meat nine millimeter. Some of this probably needs a longer tube. Anyway, let's see what is this. So, I had a surprise for this uh, lens. <laughs> we'll have that one later. That's the mid 6.3 millimeter eyepiece. This is a, just see this one, Celestron 9, what is this one, oh. Celestron 4, Four, I mean four millimeter. So this is a bag of surprises. Plus or ten. A plus or twenty-five. Look at the big islands. Super 10 millimeter Skywatcher, that's the famous Skywatcher one. Um, this is a mid MA 26 millimeter, got plastic modern one, probably. Cheap one. Uh, what is this? It's a mystery. Oh! Oh, that's a collimator, a star collimator. So, it's quite observatory here. This one, return, a star, one, two, five point, Cheshire collimator, eyepiece. Oh, collimating eyepiece. These are for Newtonian telescopes, I suppose. They are the ones who need collimation. OK, 
Okay, let's go to Major. To Shire. Clear back. And we have a Celestron here. T adapter. Barlow. Okay, you can attach it to the T adapter because it has a screw top. So good if you want to use it with the camera. That can be useful. So it's a Barlow. Barlow T adapter. So, as you see the lens. Yeah, good quality lens. Good. Mm -hmm. Spell watch and Celestron are similar companies, so whatever you see in one, you will see in the other one. Sometimes or most of the times. So so far so good. The rest of it is nothing. So let us put these things back, tissues. So what we have here is practically a set of eyepieces, like the observatory. We have from smallest, which is four millimeter, two four millimeters, to the highest, which is uh, twenty six millimeter meat. 25 then comes to 18 this is the good quality this is the best probably here flat field 18 millimeter or 90 millimeter yeah. and comes to 9 10 you have 9 10 several 9 10 again 6.3 meat most of them are puzzles uh, this is a Symmetrical Ramsden uh, two uh, varieties of the Barlows two collimating uh, eyepieces uh, one red dot finder and one ring for eyepiece holding of course they come with some um, Bolt cases. Let's set up the eyepieces. This is the Ostara flat field 19mm eyepiece, and I'm using the Skywatcher Pro, Pro Series um, um, ATED apochromatic telescope. So let's see how it looks. Oh, I'm pleased by the image quality. Really nice. Really good, pleasing quality. Look at it. This is the Altel Lightwear Premium 18mm uh, eyepiece, and I'm looking to the Sky Watcher ATED. Let's look to the eyepiece and see how it looks. The exit pupil is tiny. It's 18 millimeter, one eight, 18 millimeter eyepiece. This is the 18 millimeter Star Guider ED eyepiece. Uh, using it on the Skywatcher Apochromatic ATED. Let's see how it looks. Mm, 
I must say the image quality is better than the Altair one. Altair one a little bit disappointed. Yeah. This is a 21 millimeter. And now I'm going to open it and see what is inside. Okay, oh, easy, open. Yeah, I like these ones that open like that. Okay, usual uh, bag, it comes in a pouch of itself, leather bag. Germans love leather, it seems. That's the eyepiece. And quite large islands. Oh, look at that. Big, massive. Okay, we have now focus. That's really good. And this is the Skywatcher EDAT. It's a prochromatic telescope. And we go to, to have a look. Beautiful image, good focus. The image is not flat, so you have distortion. But at the center is good. Very good, actually. I have to test it on the dark sky and the moon or other objects. In the daylight, it gives beautiful results. Okay, with these fast telescopes that I've used, uh, both of them refractors, Skywatcher ED-AT and Skywatcher 120 uh, achromatic, and that ED is uh, achromatic. Uh, the best images were with this, this, and this. It didn't give me Alter Astro, Alter Astro Premium, it didn't give me that uh, premium quality image and actually I can say that the center was good but the rest of the image had blue purple fringing even in this apochromatic telescope so I wonder if it is because it, it is a fast uh, a slow uh, yeah fast scope maybe in a slow scope like a Schmidt Cassegrain a Mead uh, or Maxitov telescope it will give good results uh, I may test it later, but at the moment uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. It looks very beautiful, it almost looks like a Hyperion, it doesn't perform like a Hyperion. Surprise, surprise, these cheaper ones are, are matching with the Hyperion. <laughs> or Star and Star Guider.